Hey there, everybody. This is David with NationwidePropertyLiquidators.com. I um, wanted to uh, just jump on, make a real fast video today. This will be, I think, a pretty short one. Um, and talk about the least sexy thing in all of real estate, and that is having good paperwork. So I think it's one of the most underrated things um, that investors and landlords and and you know, anybody involved in, in real estate do. And that's making sure that you have good paperwork and that when you're having a transaction between two people that you both clearly understand what is happening. Um, I used to, back in the days when I was a salesman, I had this uh, admin assistant and he was a pretty funny guy. And he used to always say, I'm saying Wednesday, but you're here on Friday. And what that means is sometimes you're telling somebody something and you think you're being clear about it and you're not because the other person is perceiving it the way they want to hear it so you know you're saying you're going to get something there by friday and they're saying they're hearing yeah i know i need it by wednesday and you'll you'll do it by wednesday so um have good paperwork make sure um everything that everybody has agreed to is in the contract or in the lease um so i'm selling you a property you know i'm selling you the, this property we're going to guarantee clear title proration of taxes um you know, and it's going to happen on this date. And these are the, these are all of the terms. And it doesn't have to be super complicated. This doesn't. I'm not saying you have an attorney draw everything up for you. Just, but make sure you know. Look at your paperwork. Can a third grader understand it? Unfortunately, that's the that's the that's the litmus test of what you're dealing with out there. Um, same thing with tenants. <clears throat> here's here's what your rent is. Here's what the security deposit is. Here's when things are due. Here's your responsibility. Here's my responsibility. Go over those things with them. And give them a copy of what they what they signed. Um, so today's story today's story is I got a, a subpoena from Hamilton County, which is here in Tennessee. Um, a tenant is suing me for not getting her security deposit back. Which okay, that happens sometimes. Tenants leave places a mess. The thing on this property is I sold this property on December 30th of last year to another investor and he is the owner and he's the one that didn't get back her deposit and i did talk to him today and it's clearly because she had a dog and left a mess but uh she's suing me because i was the old owner um but i have good paperwork we did our closing at a title company we have an assignment of leases and uh you know her lease was assigned to the new person with the deposit and she's basically suing the wrong person but unfortunately i called the county and i still have to go to court that day and I guess stand there and say that you're suing the wrong person. But, but anyways, moral of the story, good paperwork. So uh, that will keep you out of a lot of trouble uh, in your real estate career. So I uh, hope you're all having a great day. I'm going to be speaking at the Real Estate Entrepreneurs Mastermind in Houston on May 30th, April 1st. No, let me get that backwards. April 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd. And I'll drop a link here. It's going to be a really killer event. Uh, I saw the, the lineup of speakers last night. Um, if, if, if there's a way you can get there, this is the event that you want to you want to attend. I know we've all had COVID and been stuck at home, um, but this is really a great lineup. The cost is dirt cheap to see some, some of the biggest names in, in real estate are going to be there um, talking about their business and how they've taken their business from a startup to seven figures a year and, and one guy eight figures a year. That's a, just a really big name. So anyways, y'all have a great day. I uh, hope you made some money today and I'll talk to you soon.